Who's ready to get legal with another edition of the Doctor's Court? We are! Drew, call court into session, buddy. Court is in order! Today's case hails from Michigan, where a group of parents have filed a lawsuit claiming the state didn't obtain proper consent to draw or store their newborn's blood for medical research. They're calling the act unconstitutional. So, uh, Dr. Nita, I want to know your thoughts on this. I think research is important, new, newborn screening is important, but it should never be done without parental consent. This is wrong. It's wrong. And it sounds wrong. Let's get a little bit more info on this and join us now via Skype is attorney Philip Ellison, who's representing nine children plus his own in two separate lawsuits against the state on this very issue. Philip, what made you bring this to court? Very simply, I'm a new father and discovered very quickly when we uh, went to the hospital, we found out that the state of Michigan, without myself or my wife's consent, took our son's blood and did a whole slew of tests and research and then indefinitely stored it inside these warehouses um, in the southern part of the state. And when I started asking some other parents and talking to others, I found out they were doing this since the mid-1980s. And a group of parents and I have said, you know what, we're not against newborn screening, but we're against doing it without our consent. I mean, yeah. I mean... Philip, this is so basic law-wise. How are they rationalizing this? And the statute or the law in Michigan as it's written has specifically said that the state can require the doctors, kind of conscripting them to be agents oh. of the state, to take the blood without, specifically without getting informed consent. And it's our position that not only is the act of taking it violates the doctrine of informed consent, but if there's a law that authorizes this, it's unconstitutional under our, our medical decision-making authority as parents. I am curious, Phil, how you guys even discovered that this was happening? Well, it was kind of a unique set of circumstances that my son was born a little bit early, and he had a blood sugar issue. And uh, we were in the NICU as he was getting some normal tests done, and the nurse handed me a form saying, we need you to sign this form. And, um, and I said, well, what is this for? And they said, well, it's for the, the donating your son's blood for research. And I said, guys, I'm a new parent, right? I, I don't care about research right now. I want to get my son home and in his mother's arms. And the, they said, oh, no, no, this isn't the blood we've been using. This is the blood that got shipped to the state. And I said, I'm a lawyer. I said, wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense at all. And so when I started uh, looking into it a little bit more and started talking to other parents, started researching the law on this, the more I discovered, the more I was horrified to the point right now that the state of Michigan has stored almost 7 million blood samples wow. from newborns since the mid-1980s. And, and, and then I find out there's a second warehouse of blood samples as well. And the story just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And this lawsuit is so new. I, I can only imagine what we're going to uncover as part of this ongoing litigation. And you wow. mentioned that the nascent phases of this at this point. We did reach out to the state of Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, who told our producers that the department could not comment on pending litigation. However, they provided information about the newborn screening program, which we will have on our website, thedoctorstv.com. Philip, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you.